Hey, welcome back, friends. So if you follow the channel, you know I recently took a trip to Humboldt, Kansas to visit B&W Trailer Hitches. And I love being a student of these hitches. I'm not an expert. I'm just a student in all of this. I've had some unique experiences, but I, I'm still learning. And so uh, hopefully you guys realize that. I got a ton of good content out there, and I couldn't, I got too much content really to put into one video. So this video is strictly going to be a B&W Continuum Hitch being built from start to finish. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to cut anything out. I'm going to include everything. It's going to be in real time. So if you want to watch this, I found it very interesting. I think you will too. Before we get started, uh, BMW didn't pay me to come out there, by the way. So before we get started, help us pay some bills and uh, check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you, RV Mattress, by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. So head over to rvmattress.com slash wondering and use our code wondering to get 25% off your next mattress. Now let's hop back into today's video. All right, guys, I'm actually going to voice this over for a couple of reasons. One, there's a lot of background noise here. And two, uh, I did a video, uh, maybe you've seen that with the in the production facility there, and uh, Matt Akins was still ma mic'd up. So, uh, yeah, you can see now that hitch head he's got that was built in that same factory right there in Humboldt he's right now he's drilling a head for the spindle bolt he's drilling that hole for the spindle bolt there but they've cut that they've welded that they have powder coated that unit right there you can see that part right there that he's tapping those are going to go that's going to be the zerks for that hitch head that hitch head probably looks familiar if you have a continuum or you have been shopping for them but yeah, everything that you see right there in that gentleman's hand, I didn't catch his name. He was busy. But everything you see there was built right there in Humboldt. Now he's going to put that in this jig and uh, he's going to insert the ball. This ball is going to be torqued to 475 pounds. And you're going to see he's got a, a torque multiplier wrench that he's going to use here in a second. But if you didn't have that, the, the torque wrench would need to be about six foot long. Now he's going to use... Um, there's a lock washer going in. And then, of course, the big nut for the ball. He's going to use this Milwaukee to the extent that uh, it'll torque down. And then he's going to go and get the, the multiplier wrench here in just a second. But, yeah, everything built right there in Humboldt. Folks in Humboldt were just great. Um, yeah, that's the real deal there. 475 pounds click but I had a great experience up there uh, super hospitable just you know small town America is still alive in Humboldt there you're seeing he's putting in the grease zerks he's gonna that spindle right there that that big silver part right above his left hand he's gonna insert that in just a second that's also built in Humboldt everything built there in Humboldt now if you haven't seen the first video that I've done it's already on the channel Definitely go watch that. Uh, it'll show you how they cut that, how they weld. You know, they cut uh, tubing, they're cutting square tube, they're cutting flat steel, all of that is, uh, and then they're milling all of that there in Humboldt. So that's a pretty good video to watch if you haven't seen it. Again, this kind of sits on its own. It's going to be yeah, probably a 12 or 14 minute video. That sticker right there, the, uh, Mr. Joe, the the uh, one of the founders of B&W, he was a big stickler about straight stickers and uh, we make a couple of jokes about that but hey you know if you're proud of your product you want it to look good too don't want a crooked sticker on a good hitch there's that spindle he's gonna slide that up in there he's gonna lock it in with that bolt right there you can see that he's gonna use a torque wrench here and he's used he's already used some Loctite you saw that in that little red container I don't remember the torque spec here. If for some reason you need to, if you're looking at this to troubleshoot your hitch, um, you can reach out to B&W. They'll certainly give you that torque spec. I don't have it offhand. 
Anytime you see a lot of torque wrenches in a build, that is a good sign. He's got that torque down. Now this grease gun, I wish I had one of these at home. It'd be nice to have a little. You can see him rotating that spindle while he's greasing. If you are maintaining your BMW continuum, that is probably a good idea to rotate while you're maintaining your hitch. I think he's happy with that. Clean it up. Now he's going to box this up here. We're not going to see that part, but he'll he's all the way to finish. And then we'll see the load bar assembly being built as well in this video. He's got to change that uh, jig out right there. He's got a two and a half inch shank jig and he's got to switch it to a two inch. So that's what he's doing right now. He'll just uh, unscrew that one and screw the two inch in. There we go. Again, apologies for the voiceover, but it you know, may be for the best. And like I said, there's a lot of pneumatic tools going on in this uh, in this area, and it is quite loud. And then Matt's over there having a you know a personal conversation that has nothing to do with BMW really. Um, so that was the reason for the voiceover. Works out the same for you guys. You guys get what's going on. Got to get your two pins in, along with your cotter pins to lock it in. And then we're going to move on to the load bar assembly. Now that unit there is ready to be boxed. You'll see him grab a box here in just a second. There you go. All right, we're moving on to the load bar assembly. And uh, I think this is Brittany. We, I think that was her name. If, if not, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure that was her name. She didn't want to be on camera, but so I tried to keep her out off the camera. But you can see all the, you know, that blue powder coat is there, done there in Humboldt um, all of those again all those parts are cut welded and formed in Humboldt she's putting in the release right there to release the load bar assembly from the hitch head again everything in real time you're gonna see a really important part here coming up um, that's half of the load bar assembly that's one that's the head I guess you'd call it this is maybe the tail this part this is the part that actually hooks to the hydraulic cylinder so you'll see that in just just a second they build the pump in the hydraulic cylinder set up in a different room we'll see that at the very end that's a 20 minute build we're not gonna put you through all of that but um, yeah you can see she's getting ready to jig that up and this uh, you'll see you notice she's got these bolts here the next video that I'll bring for, to you from BMW, uh, this the second main video really, that will be more of, along the lines of testing, and we get in the truck and test. We we look at the results online on the computer screen. You get to see some stress areas there. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you'll watch that video. Here's all the composite bars over there that come in on a big pallet. But uh, one of the things that they found through testing is uh, when they adjusted the torque specs on in this particular setup it helps the durability some so you'll see that part she's putting on right now now they've added that part to increase durability as well they found that there was about half a percent of users were just beating the crap out of these things taking them in unusual places and you know maxing them out weight wise which is fine but they were having a uh, they were having a little issue there and they needed to add a little bit more um, beef in those areas. So that's what they've done. And then they also realized by torquing to these specific specs that that would add some durability as well. Now, if you've got an original be a, a, a continuum that you bought two years ago, 99.9% .9 of you are going to be just fine. But they, uh, they've learned that uh, just adjusting, adding that one little part that you saw, I pointed out, and then having these specific torque specs you're about to see in just a few minutes um, that made a big difference in durability so that's that's pretty cool that they figure all that out through their testing again you'll see that in a future video matter of fact it should be the video right after this one if it hasn't published yet it will it will publish very very soon
Now she'll go ahead and, and torque these down with a wrench and she'll turn them over and and she's uh, she's got her torque wrench over there. You can see it at the top of the screen or kind of to the left right there. And this is where really this uh, voiceover does really well because this is very loud. And they're actually building companion hitches right across from her. And uh, that's that was a loud process too, all of the pneumatic tools going on. All the... I just find this stuff interesting. And, you know, if you need to replace a part, you know, it wouldn't be that big a deal to if you were to break one of those composite bars, which would, it would certainly take a, uh, a special situation to do that. But um, if you were to break one, it's nice you could get it replaced. You'd have to make sure some other stuff wasn't warped because it would take a, there you go. Cool little jig she's got there. Now this is where they've they've learned their torque specs and she's going to do that. And again, I'm not speeding any of this up. I'm just keeping it real time as if you were there with me watching 125 pound foot pounds of torque here and of course she's going to go around and that assembly is actually finished uh, she's going to torque these down and and then put some stickers on it but uh yeah, that, that assembly is actually done at this point after she gets it torqued. Got to put a little warning stickers on there and got to put the... I like that. I like the style they use there. Same color as the load bars and again Mr. Joe is very uh, picky about his stickers <laughs> now you're gonna see in just a second she's gonna pick up that pump assembly over there with the uh, hydraulic cylinder she's about to move to that in just a second and that'll all get boxed up we're going to see that pump assembly built. Uh, well, where they built it. We're not going to watch them build it because, again, that's 20, 20 some odd minutes. All right, here you can see those assemblies ready to go. The, the hydraulic pumps, the hydraulic uh, pistons right there. And then this is actually where they make the, uh, the pumps. They actually make them in-house. You know, they mill those parts in-house, that aluminum housing and all that. And, and yeah, this is... It's about a 20 minute process, so we're not we're not going to do that. But uh, and they actually make it there in house. They they don't outsource those things. So good stuff, good stuff. And then this is where they test those uh, hydraulic cylinders. Pretty cool. All right, guys, there you go. A continuum hitch from B and W being built from start to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, for me, it was an educational session. I I love learning about these hitches. It, it, surprisingly, there's a lot to learn. So guys, I hope you're doing great out there. Um, every single video in 2024, I just want to say thank you. I think we're over, I think we just broke 79,000 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, and so does my family. Hope you guys are having safe travels. See ya.